What's good, TMG fam? It's your boy, Ellen Queen, with the Gator jersey on Queen, back with another reaction video, man. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute, man. Listen, that's what I'm talking about, representing them Gators, man. We might not be where we want to be, but we where we at, and we salute where we at. We respect that. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what that meant, but anyway. You're right. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Anyway, listen, man, is it, a, it is officially Comedy Hour, man. You've seen the title, so you know who we checking out. After yesterday, man, <laughs> after yesterday, we had to double back with Rodney Carrington, man. Our favorite cousin, Rodney Carrington. This is part four of uh, oh, wow. Live at the Majestic from 2007. Bro, we list, when you think about it and put it in perspective, we, we laughing at something that happened back in 2007. A comedy bit from 2007, meaning his jokes aged very well. Yeah. Very well. Quite all that. Somebody said in the comment section yesterday, that's the most they've ever seen us laugh at something. Period. Really? Period. They was like, that's the most. <laughs> and they said they've been with the channel for, for a long time. So that's the most we've ever laughed at something. And I, I kind of can't argue with them. I kind of can't argue with it when funny. I think I'm about sorry. it. Rodney Carrington is, is a different level of funny. Yeah. So listen, man, ladies. Send the kids to bed on some trumped up charges. Let's get them to bed right now. Send them to bed. You know what I mean? Just tell them it is what it is at this point. Y'all should know by now what we do in this hour. Go to bed. All right? You can come out later. All right? Fellas, keep back. Relax. Pull you up something nice. Ladies, let your hair down once you get back from with the kids. And now uh, let's get in this comedy hour. Oh, by the way, we also checking out Stephen Lynch. You guys have been requesting Stephen Lynch. Y'all said he's also... Uh, a singer that does that comedy too. Comedy yeah. sings with the comedy songs, so That's awesome. pairing him with Rodney Carrington is probably gonna be good. All right, so let's get into it, man. Here we go. Hit that Patreon up. We over there too, man. Link in the description. How many boys have been drunk when I'm with a fat girl? I don't think I was drunk. I think I just ended up going home by really? process of elimination one time. Oh wow. Oh wow. I love you're out there going, shut up, fuckers, you're sitting right next to me. <laughs> if you laughed at that, you're in trouble. I went home with a fat girl once a bunch of times. <laughs> And I loved every one of them. I went home with this 43-year-old nurse when I was in college. I was 21. She was a big one, but she was fun. We got back to my place, and she gave me a penicillin shot before we did anything, which I thought was really nice of her. A lot of women won't tell you there's something down there that'll get you, but this old gal had a heart, and she cared about people. I think she's a hospice nurse or something. All those memories. Oh Memory. <laughs> oh, it was still in shot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, wait. He said a lot of girls won't tell you something down there that'll get you. <laughs> something down there that'll get no you. No disclaimer. Oh, bring that back. We did anything, which I thought. <laughs> we got back to my place, and she gave me a penicillin shot before we did anything, which I thought was really nice of her. <laughs> A lot of women won't tell you there's something down there that'll get you, but this old gal had a heart, and she cared about people. I think she's a hospice nurse or something. All those memories. Memories. Like the corners of my mind. Misty watercolor memories. That's the way we were Scattered pictures Of the times that we once shared Love we gave to one another That's the way we were I'll never forget her, she laid down on that bed and went back at comforter and said, get after it! I fuck shit out of that comforter <laughs> I was so drunk, I didn't know what I had to hold up. <laughs> then I jumped on top of her, and I couldn't touch a mattress with either hand. I had to kind of balance myself up there. 
and she was patting me on the back like she was burping a baby, and I burped once, and I think I pooted twice. And she said, you're cute. You're not anywhere near the hole, but you're cute. I said, well, you got too many choices down here, Sally. You give me a minute, and I'm gonna find me one I like. And I did. Put your clothes back on. I'd rather be alone. You think it's all worn out, now get on home. You've had too many lovers, they worn off the hair. There ain't no way I'm going in there. Put your clothes on. Get on home. I should have never gone out. I should have never had a drink. Take that thing outside, it's dark to stink. Your friends done told me where you have been And I feel sorry for all those men And put your clothes back on, baby Get on home Yeah, get that thing away from me It looks like something your dog would eat I've seen enough and now set me free I think that thing just barked at me Rough. Early this morning it bit my leg Oh, little darling, don't you make me beg I put your clothes back on Get on home. Oh shit, I'm scared. <laughs> I need medical care. I think three midgets just crawled out of there. Well, I was fine before you came. Would you throw something over that pitiful thing, baby? Put your clothes back on and get on home. Yeah, put your clothes on. Get your booty back home. This next song. Don't you do that? <laughs> it's called Rap Star. I got the idea for this song. I was watching MTV Cribs one afternoon. This is a show about rappers who show off all the stuff that they bought with the money that they've made. And after you watch it, you get the feeling that these guys aren't really long term financial planning type fellas. <laughs> nope. They need a little help. I don't know a whole lot about rap. And I'm not poking fun, because they'll, <laughs> they'll shoot you. <laughs> East coast, west coast. I live in the middle. No coast. Pond, catfish. That's it. Back off, chili dog. Just kidding, chili dog. <laughs> like there's a rapper named chili dog. <laughs> Is there a rapper named chili dog? I'm going to piss him off. Anyway. There's some words you're going to need to know that are in this song, and there's slang words that are used by the rappers. And now... They, they change so fast anymore, I can't keep up with them. These may be a little bit outdated, but we're going to throw them up on the screen for you and let you read them. And they come with a little bitty definition. I'll tell you what that is. The first one is pimping hoes. That means you are managing a prostitution ring. The second one is Cristal and Bentley, which is an excessively overpriced champagne and car that the rappers all seem to like. They love that stuff. Anyway, like to roll is an expression they use on how they like to do things. That's just how I like to roll, would be used in a sentence properly. Bling bling would be your shiny jewelry. We all know what that is. Some of you wearing some of that tonight. Cuban tree is a fine cigar. Living fat and living large is enjoying the good life. Throwing leg means you're having sex. A PO would be a parole officer. Chilling means you're relaxing, having a real good time. Uh, homies is your real good friends. Gin and juice is gin and some kind of juice. I don't know. <laughs> boo would be your boyfriend, an expression you would use to call your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Hey, boo, what's up? Come over here and give me some sugar, that kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Step off, stop being annoying. Now, that's a suspect. Fronting means you're fucking with someone. An axe is to pose a question. They use that one a lot. I was born a rapper's son from Atlanta. Pimpin' hoes when I was five years old 
We had plenty of Crystal and a Bentley Cause that's just how we always like to roll We didn't mind showing off our bling bling Our golden teeth and our Cadillac Escalade the bitches shake their booty when they pass by me And as I smoke my Cuban tree, I've got it made I'm living fat and I'm living large Throwing leg in my Bentley car And my P.O. said that I won't get far Being the son of a rap star Chilling at the club with my homies Sipping on gin and juice when my boo walked past What's up, man? <laughs> you better step on off and not be fronting Or else I'll bust the cap off in your ass I'm my baby's daddy and here's all my mama Don't ask me, that's all you need to know His pajamas are made by Gucci and Versace Cause that's just how we always like to roll I'm living fat and I'm living large Throwing leg in my belly car And my P.O. said then I won't being the son of a rap star Being the son of a rap star Okay, I got an A. Throwing leg? You just said axe, too. Just like he <laughs> said on the screen. <laughs> what the heck is throwing leg? He said it was getting some. I know. You've heard that before? I've never heard throwing leg. Everything say, else I was cool with. I'm serious. And I as he's singing it, he said, I'm like, throwing legs. Throwing legs. He get that legs. that one's gotta be. That that's from? probably something our parents might have said back in the day. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna call my pops. You got me eggs, Angie, right? I'm gonna call my pops. Throwing legs? I'm gonna, I'm gonna call. You gonna ask your mom. How else I'm gonna know what she knows? You know, if she knows what it is. Oh, I thought you was gonna ask your mom that yeah. has she been throwing it lately? Have you been throwing leg lately? Like, Gary, you've been throwing leg? I can see her now. Like, what's that? I don't, I don't, I don't know. But if she knows, then she's gonna be like, what did you just say? <laughs> do you wanna do something that rhymes with truck? Do you wanna do something that rhymes with duck? Do you wanna do something that rhymes with my best friend? His name is Chuck. Do you want to do something that rhymes with truck? Do you want to sit on something that rhymes with stick? Do you want to sit on something that rhymes with brick? Do you want to sit on something that rhymes with my old horse? His name is Flick. Do you want to sit on something that rhymes with stick? Sound like a song we'll make up in like high school or something like that. <laughs> Yo, Rodney is sick, bro. Do you want to do something that rhymes with truck? Are you asking? Are you asking? Or are we singing the song together? Something that rhymes. No, don't ask me that. What's wrong with you, bro? I don't know. I just thought you went somewhere just then. Oh my gosh. Let's keep it moving. I see. Yeah. Stephen Lynch's turn. Divorce song. Oh, snap. Divorce song. I'm not feeling too good tonight, and I'll tell you why. No. I'm a little depressed, and I've been thinking a lot lately about a pretty bad divorce I went through a few years ago. And uh, the worst part about it is uh, I had a little six-year-old daughter, Megan, and uh, she didn't quite understand why her mommy wasn't around as much anymore. <laughs> We 
clapping? Why is, why is everybody clapping? Thank you for laughing at my daughter's emotional instability. <laughs> She's got lupus, too. <laughs> lupus! I don't even know what that is. <laughs> lupus. That's my next door neighbor, Lupus. Lupus Gonzalez. Good guy. Anyway, little Megan uh, didn't understand why her mommy wasn't around, so I wrote her a little lullaby to explain things. And I think I'll feel better if you just let me kind of exercise this demon and play this song for you tonight. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Where are we going with this? I have no demon clue. I have no clue. I don't know. You got to blame the fan for this. They suggested this. I don't know where we're going right now. This is for my little girl, wherever she is tonight. You, you think I know where my little girl was tonight. <laughs>
<laughs> the little Megan. <laughs> oh wow. TMG, TMG fam, y'all are sick. <laughs> y'all are sick, by the way. I just want to say that bringing home a random stripper as the new mommy. That that is that is next level stuff right there. Yeah, y'all y'all are sick, man. I know exactly why mommy left though. Oh yeah, yeah. It was a list. It was a list. It was the 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 puss pecker, uh, and several other a list of things. Yeah, yeah. Drinking was a was a common theme throughout the song. You know, he likes to drink the bars and all that type of stuff too. And her rear. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He likes her rear. Likes to put it in a stinker. <laughs> you're, you're disgusting. Just shut up. <laughs> oh a, my god. And a stinker. A little puss pecker in the stinker. And the one that stinks, not the one that winks. Oh my gosh. You know, Shout out to y'all, man. It's your boy. Hey, that's that's because of Rodney. Hey, who's been influencing me? Rodney. Who gave us Rodney? TMG fam. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. Uh uh. You did this. Do you want to do something that rhymes with truck? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's going to be ingrained in my head for the rest of the night, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Make sure... I can't help it. Make sure y'all head over to Patreon, man. Join us over to Patreon. Make sure you share the video, like the video, subscribe if you're new, and uh, can you stop giving me dirty looks on the side right now? And uh, stick around and stay tuned, man. It's your boy L and the beautiful queen. Till the next reaction video, man. We out. Peace. Y'all stay solid, man. Hey, Do you want to do something that rhymes with truck? You want to sit on this stick? Hey, man, stop it. <laughs> <laughs>